Elon Musk has just said that Tesla could play a role in artificial general intelligence and decentralize the Tesla bot to avoid a Terminator scenario. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, I'll let you know in just a second. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Great to have so many new subscribers on the channel. Welcome back to everyone else. So is this true? Could we have a Terminator scenario? Something like The Matrix? Or to be honest, why do people always reference Terminator movie when they're talking about a doomsday scenario? I think AI, it is a very real risk. And as you probably are aware, Elon Musk is the most concerned. Of all the things that Elon Musk is concerned about, that is his number one. Now, Musk announced that he's thinking about involving Tesla in the creation of artificial general intelligence or AGI. He also added that he plans on decentralizing the control of the Tesla bot to avoid a Terminator-like scenario. For a few years now, Musk has been pushing the idea that Tesla is the world's leading company when it comes to real-world applications of artificial intelligence, or at least claim the electric. I'm not so sure he's been pushing it all that hard, but I do think that he sort of believes that Tesla is at the forefront of artificial intelligence. He describes Tesla's fleet of vehicles equipped with sensors and computers for self-driving as robots on wheels. Now, through this real-world application, the company has also been able to attract world-class AI talent. There's no question about that. And Musk boasts that Tesla has the best artificial intelligence team on the planet. At Tesla's AI Day last year, the automaker unveiled its latest supercomputer, Dojo, which is used to train its neural nets. Now, it also announced that it plans to build a Tesla bot, a humanoid robot meant to do general tasks and repetitive work. I think the, the bot is a brilliant idea, and this is exactly what the world needs in order to increase efficiency, improve actually economic output, make a lot of people's lives so much easier. I think it's gonna be brilliant. Now, this is what he said. Tesla AI might play a role in AGI. By the way, artificial general intelligence is very different to narrow artificial intelligence when it comes to an application like, say, solving for self-driving. Given that it trains almost, Tesla AI might, might play a role in AGI, given that it trains against the outside world, especially with the advent of Optimus. Now, Optimus or Optimus Subprime is the code name that Musk has given to the Tesla bot project. I quite like that name. Don't know why, but I think it makes sense. This is somewhat surprising considering the many warnings that Musk has issued about creating artificial general intelligence and the risk to humanity that will come with it. Now, Musk was a co-founder and the main benefactor of OpenAI, a nonprofit AI research group focused on ensuring that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but Elon Musk actually made a literal shit ton of money from his investment in OpenAI. It's one of his best investments he's ever made. Look it up to check out how much he actually made from that investment. It's truly staggering. A $1 million investment became an enormous pile of money. Now, in 2018, he ended up stepping down from his role as the group after citing potential conflicts of interest with Tesla's own artificial intelligence effort, along with the announcement that Tesla might work on artificial general intelligence. Musk also added on Twitter that Tesla will make sure to decentralize control of Tesla bots. We'll do our best. Decentralized control of the robots will be critical, he said. This comment was made in response to someone mentioning summoning the demon, which is what Musk referred to as creating an AGI that would turn against humanity. Now, it's my belief that, I mean, if Tesla somehow magically did solve artificial general intelligence, which I don't see happening, if they did, they're not going to put artificial general intelligence into a bot. It's going to have some form of limited AI, not artificial general intelligence. It could just go off and do whatever it wanted. I mean, it could just go and start killing people or, you know, put its own code into other things and start controlling those things. I mean, no one's ever going to just, at least not within the next 30 years, put artificial general intelligence into a robot you can buy off the shelf. That just isn't happening. Now, decentralizing the control of Tesla bots would avoid giving this demon access to an army, much like a Terminator-like scenario. So you don't need to worry, that's not going to happen. Now, Musk previously said that he tentatively expects Tesla 
to have a working prototype of Optimus by the end of 2022. And I think that's um, very optimistic. I would say maybe more like the end of 2024, 2025. But regardless, that would still be a good achievement. Now, if you're not aware, there's a lot going on in the world of robotics. If you watch some of the YouTube videos that are out there showing the robotics contest they have every year, robots have improved drastically. So I know there's a lot of cynics out there saying, oh, robots, nothing's happening. And That isn't true. Actually, they've come a long way. Now, the electric claims that this is the latest of many indications that Musk is slowly pivoting Tesla into an artificial intelligence company. Yes, he has to. Everyone, every car company has to. If they don't, then they'll simply be buying that technology from someone else that gives them a significant disadvantage. There's no choice. This is a must. Chinese car companies are very well aware of that. That's why if you read the Chinese electric car news or the Chinese car news, you'll see every second day there's some sort of new joint venture between some sort of technology company working on AI or technology company working on full self-driving. Happens every second day. Now, Elon Musk is very well known for thinking long term. And he appears to increasingly see Tesla and artificial intelligence and robotics as something that comes hand in hand. Now, people are claiming that Elon said that it will take almost fully fledged artificial general intelligence to enable autonomous driving. But once that autonomous driving is just one of many applications. Now this is complete nonsense. He didn't say that. It's a comment taken completely out of context. Elon Musk, he may be many things. He may be outrageous. He may be a brilliant marketer, a visionary, but he's not a fool. He didn't say that artificial general intelligence is needed for autonomous driving. So to those of you making those comments, just shut up. Come on. It's just silly. Seriously, let's get real. Let's get, let's just stop being children and making comments like, I hate Elon, so he said this. That's just childish, okay? Truthfully, artificial general intelligence is probably, in my view, based on the research that I've done. By the way, I did call this channel the electric singularity, so you kind of get an idea of um, why, how I think and the research, some of the research that I've done. I think it's probably at least 25 to 30 years away well and truly after, you know, Elon Musk is probably retired from his role at Tesla, but you never know. Who knows? Maybe he'll hang around. Maybe he'll be like Warren Buffett and want to drive Tesla into the future. That's possible. But artificial general intelligence is a very, very complicated, very challenging problem to solve. And it won't happen within this decade. There's no question about that. Now, am I saying we won't have autonomous driving this decade? Absolutely not. Narrow AI is like autonomous driving or narrower AIs like autonomous driving are much simpler than artificial general intelligence. Don't get me wrong. They're not simple. They're incredibly complicated, but much simpler. And artificial, here's an example of an AI. Google search, that's an AI. That's a form of artificial intelligence. A computer made called AlphaGo to, build, to actually compete in Go tournaments. That's a version of AI. We have many versions of AI right now. But AGI, artificial general intelligence, will be an entirely different ball game. Now, will it happen? Absolutely, it will happen. What will happen when we have it? Well, that is the point in which we will hit the singularity. Haven't heard of the singularity before? Well, kind of a complex issue. But Ray Kurzweil talks about the singularity in his novel. Ray Kurzweil, by the way, now works at Google. He may or may not have retired. That's the only job that I know of he's ever had because he's one of the greatest inventors in the history of inventions. He more or less invented the iPad. Now, Ray Kurzweil has predicted quite a number of different things. And one of the things that he predicts will happen when we have artificial general intelligence is that there will be an explosion of wealth. Imagine if the world could suddenly create 100 times more products, 100 times more things, 100 times more services within a very short period of time. That is essentially what will happen. But the question is, what will happen as a result of that immense production? Well, lots of good things, but what could be some of the bad things? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Personally, I think AGI will be brilliant. I think in nine ways out of 10, it will make our lives immeasurably better. And I'm not just talking about you and me, but I'm talking about everyone on the face of the planet. But you guys know how I am. I'm a bit of an optimist when it comes to this kind of stuff. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the channel. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.